Hey, this is Nathan Tabor with Handling Life. Do you ever find yourself rationalizing? Man, rationalization is my best friend. You know, it's one of those, oh, I did this. You know, I acted this way because that person acted the way they did. Or I, you know, did this, you know, I cut that person off because two roads back, they cut me off. You know, we see this in our lives, right? And we kind of always laugh about it um, because rationalization, we normally, and at least in my life and most people I've dealt with, we try to make it into a positive thing, right? We try to say that our actions, my actions were okay because they weren't as bad uh, as this other person's. But really, what are we doing there? When we're rationalizing our behavior, we're really trying to spin it. We're trying to make ourselves, we're trying to make our words, our actions, or both look better. We're trying to say, well, we're okay. We were good in this. You know, this is one thing that's happened throughout the history of mankind. It's happened throughout the history of marriages. It's happened throughout the history of relationships. It even happens in our walk with God. You know, we see this in, in little kids. You know, hey, little Johnny or little Susie, did you eat those cookies? And they're like, well, I mean, you know, I, yes, but they, you know, Susie gave them to me. Adam and Eve, right? Adam says, well, yeah, you know, I only ate the apple because Eve gave it to me. So we see it in toddlers. We see it in adults. We see it in the Bible. I see it in my life. And I'm sure you see it in your life as well, if you're honest about it. You know, I see, I go doing, you know, work-life balance seminars, and I go out and I speak, and I will talk to people about, hey, you know, in your workplace, what's something that's going on? And, you know, I start talking to people, and you'd be amazed. I mean, people are like, oh, I, I take home a roll, one roll of toilet paper every week because my boss didn't give me that raise last month. I'm like, do you not consider that stealing? Oh, no, 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 it's okay, because it's making, it's evening things out. Or I take an extra 30 minutes on my lunch break every day, but I get my friend to clock me in because my boss is making me work really hard, and that extra 30 minutes makes up for it. You see, when we start using rationalization, what we're doing, what I do and what you do, is we're trying to cover up something bad. And what, what is the real definition there of bad? A sin. If you're rationalizing that it's okay to take something from your work or you're rationalizing it's okay to, you know, um, doctor your time card or if you're rationalizing your behavior, your words that you say, well, I'm mean to that person. I'm rude to that person because they're rude to me. See, it doesn't just have to be material things, right? It can be our actions. It can be our words. And when we start doing that, we really are putting our selfish needs. We're putting our attitude, our character, our lives in front of the other person's. But what we're really doing is we're saying that our way my Nathan Tabor's way. I can act this way on the racquetball court because that guy did not act right. What I'm saying is my way is better than God's. That's really what it comes down to. I'm rationalizing that my choice, my moment there is can be explained, is explained because what I did wasn't as bad as what the other guy did. And that's not right. You know, you look in the scripture in the story of Samson. You know, he rationalized that he had to kill those 30 Philistines because he had been betrayed. But they didn't have anything to do with it. They weren't the ones that betrayed him. And see, what happens is when we start off on a path, when we start doing things that aren't covered by God's word, we affect ourselves. We affect the person or persons, but then we start affecting others that have nothing to do with it, that have no role in it, that have they've done nothing. But now their lives, their livelihoods even, are being affected by our actions. You know, in this 
scenario, in this description, in this podcast, in this video, when we start rationalizing our behavior, we're moving away from God. We're disconnecting ourselves. Satan's being able to use this in your life and in my life to get us to stop saying, hey, what does God's word say about this? God's word says a soft answer turns away wrath. God's word says to forgive. God's word says to be honest. God's word says not to be a liar. God's word says to love others the way Christ loved us. You start looking into the scriptures and start comparing. So this is what I want you to do. The next time you rationalize your behavior, that the moment that you can, I want you to stop. And I want you to write down your thought. I, my behavior or my words were okay because of this. So write down why you did it. And then compare your actions. Compare your words to God's word. Does it line up? Is that fair? Because if it doesn't line up, then you've got to go back and say, my thought process, my rationalization is wrong. Because mine is. It happens to me more than I really would like to admit in my relationship with my wife, my relationship with my daughter, relationship in business. It's amazing how my mind can quickly say, well, I'm right and you're wrong. My actions are justified because of you. And that's not fair. It's not right, but ultimately it's not godly. See, instead of trying to please myself, instead of trying to make myself look better, what I should be doing and what you should be doing is trying to please God. We should be trying to please God in our actions and our words, and we do this by applying His Word to our life. And when we do that, then we start getting the things that we desire. We start getting that contentment and that joy in that encouragement, in that balance, in that peace. The things we're trying to get by what we're doing and saying, but they just that just leads to more conflict. That leads to more issues. Whereas if we would do things, if I would do things, and if you would do things the way God wants them done, then we wouldn't have to deal with these other things. So the next time you find yourself rationalizing, the next time you catch yourself doing it, stop, compare it to God's Word, and then make adjustments. If you want to learn more about this issue or other issues, how to deal with conflict, how to deal with relationships, or how to deal with you know understanding God's will, visit handlinglife.org. There's a bunch of resources there, ebooks and life quizzes. You know how what's things going on, and you know how are things going on in your life. Um, there's great podcasts and videos, and you can learn about those things and much more at handlinglife.org.